so hello everybody welcome back i wanted to talk to you about my shopping list updated after i um i shared the shopping list that i already got from the first amazon gift cards that i got and um i'm going to discuss uh certain things that i will not get and why and certain things that i want to get and why and this is different from the wish list because I put in the wish list things that I want to get, but they might not be a priority. Um, and also, in the wish list, I don't put books because, you know, oh crap, then I would probably have to put like a hundred books in there. So, no, uh, I don't want to put books in the wish list. This is something that is not a priority either, but it is in my shopping list. And um, I'm also uh, going to tell you about the different uh, prices and stuff that I, I think it's important to understand. So, um, number one, food. Do I want to buy food in the U.S. or will I rather get it here? Okay, so here's the thing. Um, certain things like Japanese things... Oh hell, those I have to buy in the U.S. Okay, why? Well, because here, if I want to buy anything that it is Asian, it's going to cost me a lot of money. And also, I'm not going to be able to get it. And also, it's, um, it's one of those things that I might be able to get it in the Chinatown that we have here. But, uh, like I said, it's going to be very expensive. And for that, I will require, you know, um, cash which is very important for me to keep if I ever have it because I have other priorities and other emergencies that require that cash. So if I'm going to buy food in the Amazon list, it will have to be gluten-free things that are for my mother because those, you know, you can get it here some places and sometimes. And it is very expensive. So it is kind of like a lock thing whether you can get gluten-free things or not. And um, they are very expensive. So for example, if I want to buy uh, one pound of pasta that is gluten-free, it's going to probably cost me in the supermarket around $4. So, you know, it, it, I, I, it's one of those things and I am kind of like, what? <laughs> You know, and again, you know, it, 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 I would rather buy it in the U.S. because I can buy bulk for my mother. And, um, you know, it, buying something that is for your uh, specific re requirements for uh, diet things like gluten-free or lactose-free or, um, I don't know, peanut-free or whatever free. Yeah, if it has, says the word free thing. Yeah, that's going to cost you, you know, triple, you know. And if you're in hard times, yeah, you're not going to find it. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're not going to find it because it, you know, if, if it is kind of, let's say that buying two flowers, one costs you one dollar and the other costs you, you know, two dollars. And um, the supermarket, you know, figures that people will not buy all of the gluten-free things because they are too expensive and because people will rather, you know, just eat vegetables or stuff like that, which is also gluten-free. So they ha people have the alternative. So basically they will, some companies will, will have to shut down because they will have no, not, uh, you know, the economic margin that they need to produce things. So for example, if they want to produce, you know, uh, pasta, they need to produce 10,000 pastas in order for them to make kind of some sort of profit. And if they can only say 5,000 instead of 10,000, then basically they're going to shut down, even though they, they could don't know, double the price or whatever. But it is an economical process and it is, you know, market thing related and people will try to look for the cheapest available. And most people are going to turn into their own producing things and they're going to try to go with the food about as healthy as possible especially during hard times because you need the most nutrition thing that you can get 
at the cheapest price. And that means uh, more meat, uh, more eggs, uh, and anything that is really, and I do mean really, 100% produce without any kind of chemicals and that way you might be able to get it so for example if you are lactose intolerant intolerant but it turns out that you're not lactose lactose intolerant if you buy you know milk that it is produced by an, a farmer that has never you know given the cow any kind of antibiotics and stuff like that and you find out that you can drink that milk but you cannot drink from the supermarket then that one is going the one that you're going to get However, that one is going to be more expensive, so you need to figure out how the hell to do something with the gar- with the farmer that is going to give you that, and then, you know, it's a whole other level of process thing and trading things, and 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 in some people are even um, uh, producing things in their own backyard based upon this, you know, and as much as possible, whatever the hell they can. So, you know, like I said, food I will only buy for my mother and I will probably only buy the Japanese things that I absolutely love like um, the wasabis and other things unless I get the seeds and stuff and then I can actually produce it in here but um, I don't know whatever you know so that one is on my list food but that food you know other than that oh you know I'm not buying food from from the US because pasta yeah I can get pasta here um, toilet paper, toothpaste, and stuff like that. Yeah, I can get those things here. Um, they are about the same price, so I don't want to deal with the headache of waiting, and I do not want to deal with the headache of uh, paying for the shipment and stuff for things that I can get here now, and they are going to be cheaper here if I buy them here. Uh, so certain things, you know, definitely I'm getting, you know, there. Other things that I'm getting, but not through Amazon, by the way, this is like my general shopping list. So it might not necessarily be from the Amazon list or whatever. Um, I ask some friends to send me bulk things from the dollar store that have to do with food. Because if I get 12 or 24, you know, of things, I can share with my whole family. Because uh, I have said this before, my grandmother had, you know, 25 kids in the house. And right now there are 11 that are alive. And uh, right now, out of those 11, uh, abroad are some. And some are expecting to be leaving soon. You know, maybe by June this year. I'm hoping that they will stay here for my daughter's birthday. But I don't know whatever God decides, right? So, um, I want, uh, I want to share some of this food with my, with my family. So I want to buy it bulk and the cheapest, fastest is the dollar store. And, um, anyway, uh, other than that, other than that, that's the first category, right? The food. Uh, the second category will be my books, you know, because like I said, I am a maniac about books. So hell, if uh, for every time that I, I have like $100 or, or something, I will buy at least one or two books, you know, because what the hell is, is my thing. Number two, num- this is the book number three. Uh, I am now also currently working on, on some things that are personal, that have to do with feminine things that I really want to try to get uh, for my daughter, and for me so i also want to get for my mother some feminine things you know that i cannot get here because they don't sell them uh so you know feminine things that's personal i can't tell you what i'm going to get for my daughter or me because you know it's personal but feminine things you know what i mean um also besides the feminine things that, by the way, that one is kind of like a priority thing. Uh, for every, the, like, uh, $150 or so that I get, I try to get my daughter something that she wants for herself. Because, you know, she's a kid. And if she wants 
like learning about, I don't know. This time she said that she wanted uh, a dinosaur set for um building thing that has to do with dinosaurs and stuff because she likes that. So I think uh, that will be like number five in my list or something like that. But still, you know, I have to keep in mind that, you know, I work in my books and in the videos and everything. That means that I'm taking time that I'm supposed to be teaching her and stuff for doing this. So I have to sort of, you know, come to an arrangement with her. Because if she thinks that I am doing this just to teach her with nothing for in it for her, then she's going to be kind of like, yeah. So hell no. I, I, I told her that I am trying to get things for her, her grandmother. And I'm trying to get things for her as well, you know. And um, so, yeah, you know. And that is about, you know, the food for my mother is usually around $40. Uh, usually. Because, you know, uh, I don't know. I try to make it around 40 to depending upon how much money I get, you know, that that's about it. Uh, the things that I try to get for my daughter are about 30 to $40 also. Kind of like that. And then the rest I divide between, you know, like I said, feminine things, my books, and all, all the other things that I want. Now, um, number five, I am trying to get um, certain tools that I am missing in my house. Either because I used to have them and they got stolen. Uh, or because I really want to have these kind of tools. Because they are important. Because, you know, I want to have them, like, almost for a thing that I need for daily use or whatever, and I don't have them. And I have to use the alternative, which is a life or something like that. And then I'm kind of like, yeah, oh, hell no, you know, I, I just want to be a little bit more okay, so I want to have certain tools. Um, also, on top of the, on top of that, I, um, every time that I get, uh, you know, like uh, like I said, the things for my mom and the things for my daughter and my books and my stuff. I also try to get things for sharing with my neighbors and stuff. So every time that I get, you know, like $100 or something, I will probably spend more into buying the, the tools that I told you the other day that I got that I share with all of my neighbors and stuff. Um, the ones that are like a credit card tool, like the multi-tool for the credit card thing. Yeah, I usually buy them and then I give them up to my neighbors because, you know, they they actually need them and use them. And uh, the, magnet, the magnifying glasses, oh hell, they absolutely need those things. So, in fact, some of them are kind of, you know, they, they actually knock on my door. Neighbors that I don't even know. They say, you know, my neighbor, this one, you know, this one from this house. And I said, yes. Well, um, he said that you have that, so... Could you please give me one for my mom or, you know, because she can't read and she can do whatever. So, oh, hell, I need those, you know. And no, I'm not probably going to sell them. I mean, a lot of people have told me that I could sell them. But come on, these are old people that are making literally, <laughs> literally $1 per month. And you expect me to charge them for something that I don't know, for something that I got as a gift. Oh, come on. I, I, I just, I... I know I should be making money or whatever, but I just don't have the heart to do it. I know I'm a, I'm a, I'm a coward, I'm a stupid girl, whatever. I don't care, I'm just, I, I don't want to, okay? I know that I could, but I don't want to. Um, you know, so, um, so I'm going to get certain things for sharing. Like I said, with my neighbors and the gardeners and stuff, because, you know, it's important. And, um, uh, in fact, some of the tools that I'm going to get, they have sets. And I probably need only one or two pieces. So I'm going to give up the rest as well, you know. Because, come on, what the hell. And then, um, you know, I have um, in, in my shopping cart so far, I have nearly 400, 400 things on it. And they are, like I said, you know, mostly they are books. Because, like I said, I have like 100 or maybe 200 books in there. Because, you know, I'm a maniac about books. 
uh, also, you know, I have the game thing that I told you the other day that it was like $10 or something. And it has like uh, the, the hide and th seek things or find the difference things or whatever and the Sudoku things. Yeah, I have a lot of those in the, in the, in the shopping cart as well. Because, you know, I need something to, to do when, when there is no, no, um, no power and then I'm going crazy with my head. Oh, hell yeah. So, yeah, I definitely that one. And um, other than that, um, in the shopping cart, I might add, I do not know if I'm going to do it yet. I might add um, certain things that I really like, like bubble gums. Quite frankly, you know, I do not smoke uh, and I do not drink. Uh, except for the fact that, you know, I would love to drink kombucha or something like that daily, but um, I accidentally killed the kombucha that I was doing. Yeah, I accidentally killed it. I had someone that gave me the scooby and I was doing it and then I was sharing the scuba with uh, people. And then I forgot that I was supposed to feed it and then it died and then, yeah, no more kombucha for me. So, um, and I'm trying to figure out, you know, whether I'm going to do that or not. Detergents? Oh, hell no, I'm not going to add detergents in the U.S. Uh, for that, I have, um, here you can buy very, very, very good detergents and they're very cheap. So, detergents, not a problem. Uh, toilet paper? Yeah, well, um, it depends, you know. Uh, certain toilet papers are better from the U.S. than here, but, um, Sometimes uh, I, f I find very good toilet paper and uh, sometimes they are on sale and you can buy bulk and whatever and I try to figure out a way to do this and um, I don't have a problem with toilet paper until, until next year. Yeah, because we already bought a lot of toilet paper. <laughs> yeah, because we were able to find uh, a bulk 48 packages, you know, 48 rolls that was uh, divided into 12 or something and the packages of 4 and then 12 or something and then, you know, we bought them. Uh, I think it costed me $20 or something like that. So, you know, we, we took advantage of that. That was like in December or something. Uh, because people will sell bulk. Sometimes they will, because they need the cash. And uh, so we had the cash, we bought them. And uh, I also want to get uh, other things that are for my EDC. Oh hell, the things that are for my EDC are like right there next to the books. Because like I have said before, I am a maniac about EDC things. Because you have to try to imagine that you are going uh, to a ghost town. This ghost town doesn't have electricity, water, or basically anything that you probably want to get. So no toilet paper, no soap, no um, nothing, basically. So if you want to use anything, then you need to bring it. And um, if you are stuck for whatever reason, you might need a tool to get out of there or whatever and like a flashlight or anything especially you know whistles in fact I, I don't have whistles anymore because the whistles that they used to sell here um, yeah I used to carry them in my clearing yeah big mistake because now I don't have any <laughs> because they get stolen <laughs> people will steal them and then you know so I have to figure out a way to secure them next time and whatever and and also, when people see that you have whistles, they will ask for them. And then, uh, because, you know, uh, when you are in trouble, you need whistles. You need, like, one in your EDC, one in your bug bag, one in your key ring, one in your nightstand, and one that you usually need in your, um, you know, in your necklace or something. Because, you know, if you're seeing something funny or whatever, you are supposed to let everyone else know. And how the hell do you let everybody know about something that you can't, you know, 
do without screaming your name or something and pointing out your direction. But if you have the whistle, it's, it's a way to do it. And the whistle has to be specific. It cannot be any kind of whistle. It has to be something that can be heard in the whole block with no problem. So, yeah, like I said, you know, you need to figure out a lot of EDC things. And um, so far, you know, they need to be small, they need to be portable, they need to be light, they need to be strong. And then, you know, most importantly, you know, they need to be the right size because some, most of the things that are for the EDC, they are built for men. They're not built for women and definitely not for kids. So that's it. Thank you for watching.